As for that in the good soil, they are those who hear, they are those who hearing the word hold it fast in an honest and good heart and bear fruit with patience. These are other people who hear the message and, uh, and it says it multiplies. It's like you throw one seed in there and, and these are the people who I give you a message, you take it and you go, I gotta do that. I gotta do that and then you do it, okay? Like, like you give a me- you, you hear the expression, it, it fell on deaf ears. It, it comes from Jesus. He who has ears, let him hear. Some of you, I give you a message and you don't just neglect it. You don't just nod your head in church and go, oh, that was good, amen, Arr. you know, and then, uh, and then you do nothing with it. It's, it's, it's about doing. That's why in uh, a few verses later, I didn't put it up there, but a few verses later, it says in, in verse 18, it says, take care how you hear. For the one who has more will be given, and from the one who has not, even what he thinks he has will be taken away. He goes, be careful how you listen. Don't just come to church and hear a message and go, ooh, I got it, ooh, I got it, amen. Shake my hand, walk away, and do nothing about it. The the good soil is a person who soaks it in and you see the results in their life. It's not the one that got too busy and just, it just gets buried and everything else. It's not the person who, who will accept it and you'll see something until life gets difficult or they get tempted. It's a person who, with great patience, they heard it, they soaked it in, and they start living it out and you start seeing it. And the Bible says, so be very careful how you hear. Be careful how you listen because if you listen well and you actually obey it, God will give you more knowledge. But if you don't listen the right way, he goes, even what you, knowledge you think you have, he'll take it away from you. And then right after that, right after that, it, it says that Jesus is, um, in, in verse 19, his, his mother, his brothers came to him, but they couldn't reach him because of the crowd. So Jesus' mother and brothers are, are trying to get to Jesus, the crowd's in the way, and then so someone says, hey, your mother, your brothers are standing outside desiring to see you, and he answers them, my mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and do it. Very strong statement. See, so he gives this parable of the soils, and he goes, man, you know, if you get it, you get it. If he, he who has ears, let him hear. Some of you, you're not even going to hear a thing I say. Others of you, you'll hear it, it'll spring up, but then the moment it gets difficult, you're done. Others, you'll hear it, but you, you love so many other things, you, you're not going to grow. Then others will hear it, and man, it's going to change your life. You're going to be a different person. We're going to see the fruit in your life. And he goes, so be careful how you listen, because if you listen well, I'll give you more there'll be more fruit in your life. And then Jesus' brother and mothers are like, hey, hey, they're right outside. I go, and Jesus says something so profound. He goes, who's my mother? Who's my brother? Who's my sisters? Because it's you guys who hear the word of God and do it. And do it. It's those who hear the word of God and do it. And I look at that and I go, okay, God, I'm looking at my life and I, it looks like it's me. I feel good about that. I look at my life. I go, man, I heard this and I went and did this. I heard this. I went and did. It's a great way to live. You just go, I, I got peace. God, thank you. And there's nothing of me. It's God changed the soil of my heart. He changed who I was. There was a time when I didn't hear it. There was a time when I loved stuff too much. There was a time when I wondered about tragedies and questioned God. And then there was a time when it's like I saw it on the picture. I got eyes to see now. I, I can hear that harmony. I hear it now. And I've just been praying this week. I go, God, I can't change anyone, but maybe this is the week you supernaturally just change the soil. Where suddenly someone who's been sitting in this room for weeks, maybe even years, goes, I can see it now. Jesus is worth it to me, and I will give everything to follow him. I hear the message now. I get it. Now I know I feel that guilt. I I, I know I'm not ready to see God yet, but I get it now. I want to be forgiven by Jesus. And that's what I pray for. And if that's you, I'm not going to stand here and beg you. Um, Like when Peter preached his message, the people's response was, it says they were cut to the heart and they said, what do we need to do? What do I have to do to be saved? And he says, repent and be baptized and you'll be filled with the Holy Spirit. 
He says, turn from all of that old life, all that stuff, all the stuff you believed, all the stuff you did, and go, I get it now. I don't want that. I'm turning. That's the repentance. I want Jesus now. Get baptized for the forgiveness of your sins. And you'll receive that Holy Spirit of God. I've been praying for that. Because again, this life is so short. 